Gunmen has attacked Soludo's community in Isuofia and killed a policeman. There has been a conflicting report. It happened uh, yesterday. Some reports say that three policemen were killed. The Anambra State Police spokesperson said no policeman lost his or her life except that they received their gunshot wounds and they are being treated. A report from the Vanguard is now saying that one policeman was killed. In any case, it is in Sofia, the very ancestral home of the newly elected Anambra State Governor Chuko Masoludo. There has been a war of wars between him and some section of the IPOB and he has spoken out strongly against the activities of criminals and non men in Anambra State. He took on them verbally. Immediately he got elected and many people were not so pleased. They thought that as a newly elected governor that he should have treaded more carefully and um, be in control of what he says and rather speak less and act more. But it looks like he's a verbal onslaught on the unknown government, the criminals and all the people have ignited a battle in Anambra State and is spreading a bit like wildfire. From what we understand, the attack took place at the junction leading to the governor's house where security operatives were said to be erecting a security post. So it's like they are um, building an um, a defensive position on the way to the governor's house. Because of the increasing insecurity, they needed to do something. And according to the information, the hoodlums stormed the arena, shooting indiscriminately, forcing the residents to scamper for, saf for safety, during which the policeman was killed. The Alhambra State Police Command was yet to comment on the incident as at the time of filing this report, although eyewitnesses confirmed the attack. Well, the police have actually come out with their own information saying that yes, there was an attack, but uh, nobody died, but three police officers were injured. From what we understand also, it looks like these unknown men were probably on their way, going to wherever they were going to cause havoc and mayhem. And these policemen, they were not actually looking for these policemen, but these policemen saw them. And being policemen, they decided to fire first. And then the pandemonium ensued and the unknown gunmen responded. And either one was killed or three were killed, or three were injured. We still have to confirm the true situation, but an attack took place, and there have been various versions of reports coming out. But this was the third attack by government in Anambra State this past week. The previous ones were the attack on Atani Police Station uh, in Obaru local government area, where four policemen were killed. I think including a, a female police officer. Another attack also took place at Intege police station and led to the death of one of the gunmen, as we have heard. But we haven't seen uh, the display of the body of the gunman that was killed. Also, penultimate week, the government set ablaze headquarters of Soludo's local government area, which is Aguata and the damage was very extensive. I think they wanted to tell the newly elected governor that they are capable of doing damage. The governor in his uh, inaugural um, address on 17th March offered an olive branch to the separate ceased groups, the IPOB and the non men, assuring them of his readiness to make peace with them. He later set up a 15-man committee headed by Dr. Chido then Kalo to find a way of making peace with the agitators. The committee is yet to begin its work. 
It includes some um, popular musicians and human rights having weights like um, Onye Komwenu, also Charles Oputa, Charlie Boy, among other persons. But um, Anambra State has been hotting up. We have heard of uh, attack by the military in some places, though it has not been announced official, but people are getting um, uh, news about those things. There was also some action in um, a particular town, I believe it was Ichi, where um, it was the youth actually that attacked the home of a kidnapped kingpin, as they said. And also, they didn't stop at that. They moved in also to a house uh, that they confirmed to be a house of um, a native doctor that prepared charms for this kidnapper and his gang and set so many things ablaze. Uh, people first said it was um, the unknown government's hideout that was burnt down, but eventually there was official confirmation that the action has nothing to do with un unknown government. Rather, it was a well-known kidnapper in that village that his home was touched, and they moved on also to touch the home of uh, the native doctor that worked with them, prepare charms and all that. And in the process, they destroyed and burnt up a whole lot of things. So this is what happened um, in Soludo's hometown. I think the message is getting home because they are getting closer and closer to the governor. And I think um, Soludo should tread with caution because Sobiano was there for how many years? Eight good years. These people, Anambra was, uh, um, you can say, literally quiet. You can never compare it with a Boni state. What happened in a Boni state or Imo state or even Enugu state, where the Flani has men killed a lot of people in Enugu state, in Imo state. He has been every day battle with the unknown government and all that and the Boni State also. And the whole Puzalema went on, head on with the IPOB and later he started to learn his lesson, he started to backtrack. And most of the attacks happened there, he always says his political opponents. Whether that is true or false, no one knows. And uh, in a Boni State, uh, Dave Omahi fought to nail. he even set up the Bubago security outfit, but that has almost fizzled out also. So this requires more tact, more diplomacy. It's not um, uh, open confrontation or asking them to come and surrender their weapons that you will forgive them, those in the forest. I think those kind of words anger the people even the more because they are not criminals as they claim and you cannot ask them for uh, to come and receive amnesty, especially the IPOBs and uh, the Biafran agitators. So, still a lot of work to do for the newly elected governor. He has to put his act together and see how to deal with this situation so that Anambra State doesn't turn into another boiling point like Imo State or any other state in the north. That's all we have on this one, and we thank you for listening. Kindly subscribe if you have not done so. Click the notification bell so that our next releases will come directly to you. Put your comment down below so that we will have a discussion on this. Thank you for listening and God bless you.